Hi, I'm Dmitry Gurinovich from Odessa, Ukraine. This lesson is for week 4 for Introduction to Music Production course at Courseera.org. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Isotope Ozone compression plugin. I'll be using a drum track for compression demonstration. Let's add the compression plugin to the track inserts. This plugin contains three basic Dynamics processors. They are limiter, compressor and the gate. For each of these processors you can define the essential parameters threshold, ratio, attack and release. And like any other compression plugin it also has a visual representation of transfer function, input meter, output meter and additionally it has gain reduction trace meter. The gain is adjusted by these faders. Now let's apply the compression to the drum track. First thing we want to do is to change threshold and the ratio. Now increase the gain. The drums became louder without any distortion and clipping. Also the environment room sound came up. When we increase the attack, the compressor allows the transients to cool. Increasing the release leads to more pumping sound without articulation. Setting the gate threshold too high makes the sound disappear between the beats. I have shown you the basic usage of the Isotope Ozone Dynamics plugin. But its functionality is much wider than I have shown you. For example, it allows to split the entire band into separate bands and define the dynamics of each band individually. Like this. So I hope that you have enjoyed my video and good luck! <laughs>